Hey everyone, so today I'm going to share how to make this ring wall art I've been seeing a lot on Pinterest. The ring I bought was 8 inches in diameter, but you can choose a ring that's bigger or smaller. And also with the wool, you can choose any color or any like thickness you want. Mine is kind of like a little more chunkier, but the chunkier you go, the less row, like the less strings you need, and the thinner you go, the more strings you need. So with my size, I only ended up using 16. So if you do have a thicker or thinner string, just make sure it's an even number because you're gonna be splitting these strings in half. So pull them through like that. I found that two meters worked very nicely for me. just have to split your strings in half so this is why an even number is important just pull them tighter and make sure they are tight enough and then flip the top ones like over top I feel like you don't get them as tangled because there's a lot of string and it just gets really complicated so then you take one of your bottom strings and I don't really know how to explain it so just try and watch the video it's kind of like you bring it back and then make a loop over top leave a gap and then loop again and then pull it through and that's kind of how you make your knot at the bottom so you're just gonna like alternate sides from crossing over the the previous string so that's kind of how you do the whole thing make sure you pull tight throughout because the rest you're gonna have like strings everywhere and it's not gonna be tight and you're gonna be mad because it's not working so just make sure you pull tight so it's not loose and looks weird. how both sides look they kind of look different so like one triangle is on top and one's on the bottom and so you can stop here it's perfectly fine like this I really liked it like that but the strings at the bottom I wanted to add something different so you're gonna on the side you're gonna do four you're gonna take four apart and then you're gonna put one string over like over top the two and then take the other string and go underneath those two strings and then up again so this part is also kind of hard to explain I'm really sorry it's kind of hard to explain it but you can kind of get the gist of it in the video and you're just gonna do that so I found that the two outside strings they were too short to do it so I had to take like another string and cut it and like tie knot to make sure that they didn't go too short to like match the other length and that was just really pain in the butt so i suggest making your strings longer if you want to do this like squirrely kind of pattern on it it just makes it so much easier if you do it extra long and cut off extra at the end than trying to put another piece on
taking out these strings so I'm going to cut a V shape out of this so I just wanted to make sure I'm not cutting the wrong string so I'm gonna split them in half to make sure that the longest piece is at the bottom and it's at the center and then I'm just gonna kind of keep going upward just cutting it and just moving up and as I'm doing that I'm making sure the one side's the same length as the other side because that would be bad <laughs> if you were cutting and then one side shorter but anyway this is kind of how you would do that Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe.